All the conclusions from this study are from actual analytical data of three samples taken from the rays, 1973 and carbon-14, 1988 sampling corner, lower left corner of frontal image area of the shroud. The many strands of fibers from the three threads analyzed gave FDIR signature spectra of cotton and definitely did not give evidence of linen flax fibers. In the first analysis we did, we saw maybe some uh, impurities of flax there, but we went back and they looked at those over and over again and they said, no, nope, this is just cotton. That's all there is to it. The FDIR data confirms the Ray Rogers assertions that he made in the Thermochemica Octa uh, that the material from the radiocarbon area of the shroud is significantly different from that of the main cloth. It confirmed that. The radiocarbon samples was uh, thus not part of the original cloth and is invalid for determining the age of the shroud. That was his two main allegations in Thermochemica Octa. The samples taken for the carbon-14 dating of the shroud in 1988 were uh, all taken from the same corner and were not representative of the main shroud. What was true for the part was not true for the whole. And that's one of the basic, uh, one of the basic rules in doing analytical chemistry is that if you have a sample that you're going to analyze, that sample must be representative of the whole. If you, especially if this sample is to be characterized, is to characterize an area or a population, here again, the sample must be representative of the whole. And they did not do this. Therefore, the approach used for conducting uh, the age sampling, uh, age dating was flawed and the results are therefore invalid. The recommendation, a new age dating must be conducted on samples that are representative of the shroud image area. These are, this is an acknowledgement for the uh, people that uh, worked on this. This is all, uh, they're all Los Alamos people. They're all PhDs and uh, very knowledgeable in their area. And uh, that's it.